Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1519. Hey, in this video, we're still talking about the amazing new dynamic arrays in Office 365. And in this video, we want to look at the backwards compatibility and the forward compatibility for dynamic arrays. Now, what do I mean by that? We're going to create some formulas with the new Excel Calc Engine. If I create an array formula, I no longer have to use any special keystroke. I simply hit Enter. If I click back on the cell and I look up to the formula bar, I don't see the curly brackets like in the old version, but the formula calculates correctly. So scenario number one, we have a single cell array formula without curly brackets. Now if I want to spill an array, which means in the new Calc Engine, if the formula delivers multiple answers, when I hit Enter, it will automatically spill those answers. Now, as we saw the last couple videos, the top cell is where the formula lives. All of these other cells, you see a grayed out version of the formula. Now, you'll be surprised when we take this backwards to an older version, what happens there? We also have new array functions, so unique is totally amazing because I can simply highlight a range. And when I hit Enter, it will deliver a unique list, one of each item from that column. Now notice this is also a function, but it's also a spilled array. Now I'm going to Control S, and we're going to open this workbook in an older version and see what happens. All right, I've opened this file in an older version of Excel. And we want to see how each one of our array formulas will react when we open this file in an earlier version. The single cell array formula properly puts in the curly brackets, because in this version, those curly brackets are required. Remember, we entered that formula with Enter, and there were no curly brackets. But when I open it in an earlier version, it's totally polite. The spilled array. Well, if we're going to enter an array of values into cells in an earlier version, every single cell has to have the formula. And there has to be curly brackets that were created using Control-Shift-Enter. So this formula, when we bring it backwards, works just like it should in this earlier version. How about the array function? Well, if I click in every one of the cells. First off, I see the unique function, which is different than the, the new Calc Engine. The new Calc Engine would have the formula only here, and each cell would be grayed out. In fact, that's the same case over here also. But what's different here is if I tried to F2 and hit Enter, well, it's not going to let me change part of that array. And I can see that it's got a reference to a function that doesn't exist in this version. By the way, if I came over here, and put it in edit mode. If I hit Enter, I get the incorrect answer from implicit intersection because it's next to the data set. If it was entered above the data set, I would properly get a value error. So even though it worked in the earlier version, if I put it in edit mode, I have to remember to use Control-Shift-Enter in this version and verify that the curly brackets are put in. Now I want to try both of these formulas. We're going to create these over here. Control-Shift-Enter. I see the curly brackets. And I want to create a spilled array. And I have to, because I'm in the earlier version, make sure that I highlight all the cells in advance and then use Control-Shift-Enter. All right, so we're going to see what happens to these array formulas that we created in an older version, what happens when we open it in the new version. All right, so we round tripped back to the new Calc Engine. I'm looking at the formula where in the earlier version I used Control Shift Enter. And when I open it in this version, the curly brackets are there. But watch what happens when I put it into edit mode, F2. And by the way, Enter or Control Enter. Control Enter just means you put the thing in the cell and keep the cell selected. Either one of those will work. And there's no curly brackets over here. If we look at our array entered range, notice it's exactly the same as we created it over in the older version. If you wanted to change this, you'd actually have to delete the whole thing and then equals and recreate it so it could spill. Now I'm going to Control-ZZ and just leave it as an array entered range. 
Now, if we look at our three array of formulas that we originally created, they're all exactly the same. Except for this one, we actually entered this as with Control Shift Enter. So I'm going to hit F2 and then Enter. One other thing about these spilled arrays. Normally, like for this situation over here, if I wanted to move it, I'd have to highlight everything and click and drag to move it, Control Z. If I did this over here, well, it would work, right? So I just moved it. But watch this. I only have to move the actual cell where the array formula lives. So click and drag, and of course, it will move. Control Z. All right, that was a little fun with figuring out backwards and forwards compatibility for these amazing dynamic array formulas. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun, including like the next five videos, many more tricks about dynamic arrays. All right, we'll see you next video.